Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ren Wise and my channel's name is Wisely Made Up. This is going to be my first video and hopefully not my last. Um, I've decided that my first video will be a get to know me, get ready with me. I post a lot of really artsy looks on my Instagram if you want to go check that out. It is at Wisely Made Up. Okay, so let's get started. First, I prime with e.l.f. primer. Um, it's a dupe for the Tasha water cream, which is like super expensive and I have that and I do use it sometimes sparingly because it's like $55 whereas this is like eight, I think. So first I prime. So I want to talk to you guys first about why I started my channel. I started my channel because well, I love makeup and I was posting lots of makeup looks on my private Instagram and I was feeling like maybe my friends and family weren't as interested in seeing that kind of content or that kind of information from me. So I wanted an outlet where I could share my art and it didn't have to be like cumbersome to anybody who didn't want to see it. Um, so I do have a private Instagram where I post pictures of my family and like pictures of my life. And I do sometimes post pictures of my life on my private Instagram, but I tend to leave out like my husband and my daughter. I really do love makeup and it is a hobby for me. So next step is uh, I would only, I already did my eyebrows kind of off camera because it takes a lot of time and you know, like who has time for that? Um, so I'm going to apply Urban Decay's Stay Naked 24 hour foundation skin. So I like to apply it to the back of my hand and use a very dirty sponge because I, I'm a dirty person, I don't clean my sponges. So this very dirty sponge to apply it. I wanna tell you guys a little bit about who I am or who I have been, where I come from. I'm born and raised Southern California. I grew up in a little town. It was little when I grew up. A little town called Temecula. It's wine country. We do like hot air and wine balloon festival festivals. Festivals. <laughs> and uh, basically that's where I grew up. I My parents were divorced, so I lived between there and San Diego. So I grew up in both um, like El Cajon area and Temecula. When I was 19, I left Temecula and joined the army. I served in the army for three years. I served active duty and I was stationed in Hawaii. I was a signal engineer. I really loved my time in service. It really changed and shaped who I am today. Um, and in fact, I think it was that that gave me the craving to be artistic. In the military, you don't really get to wear makeup and if you do, it's very minimal and it needs to look to what they consider professional. And so when I left the army, I really had this empty spot in me for creativity. Uh, I had all this discipline and I had all these skills and these leadership opportunities, but what I didn't have was a creative outlet. And so I really started to find the world of YouTube. I was kind of older than most people my age who started watching YouTube. I didn't start watching until I was like 20, 23. I am 28, I'll be 29 this year. Next step, I am going to conceal. I like to use Tarte Shape Tape. I know everybody uses it, but it works. I mean, there is a reason. So, so other than just being a veteran, I'm also a student. I graduated California State San Marcos in May of 2019 with a bachelor's degree in psychological sciences. I am currently a graduate student at Arizona State University. I'm, I'm an online student because my husband is currently active duty. And because of that, you never know when you're gonna leave or when something's gonna happen or maybe I need to pause my program. And with an online program, it gives me the opportunity to do that. I also have a daughter, as I mentioned, but she is an adoptive daughter, so she's a bit older. She is 17 now. When she started living with us, she was 16, so yay, year! She is one of the smartest, most courageous children I have ever met in my entire life, but it also makes it easier for me to take care of her, uh, to have time for the stuff that she needs, so it makes me a really present mom, and I really like that about my online school. So I'm a veteran, I'm a student, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, and now I guess I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm really passionate about mental health and my bachelor's degree, as I mentioned, is in psychology and my graduate degree is in social work. 
I really love the idea of helping populations that are lacking in the resources that they need. So if you guys have any questions or would like me to do a get ready, get ready with me and talk about psychology, I am all for it. I will explain to you the process of chemicals, of neurons in our brain while beating my face. So the next step in my routine before I get all greasy and soak my makeup off is to bake. I like to use Maybelline's Fit Me Loose Powder. Again, it's like a dupe. It's just cheap and it's easy to use and easy to find and I don't have to spend a crap ton of money and I think this one has lasted me nine months. So let's do it. Okay. So I bake the areas of my face that get the greasiest, which is my nose, my forehead, my under eye, and my chin area, mostly because I touch it. I just touch my face too much. So after I finish baking, and I honestly don't really let it sit that long, I take a little extra powder and I just kind of wipe off the bake. I ask my followers on Instagram to ask me questions that they would like to know to get to know me better. And so I'm gonna answer a few of those now. So somebody asked me how long I've had experience with makeup and I really started doing my makeup in middle school, but you know, it was like the late nineties, the early two thousands. And all we did was take eyeliner and turn it into big black circles. So I really wouldn't consider that doing my makeup. In high school, I used to color my hair and have my eyeshadow match my hair color. Like I used to have these cute little baby bangs and, and I would, they were pink and I would match my eyeshadow to these little, little baby bangs. And it looked like I had like a rash on my eye. And after the army, like I said earlier, I really started getting into the idea of expressing myself through it and into the idea that makeup didn't have to just be this thing that you wear out on a date and instead it could be a piece of art. And I also got asked if I listened to any podcasts. I'm a big listener. <laughs> I listen to audiobooks and podcasts. My all time, all time, all time favorite podcast is Cult Leader by Spencer Henry. Um, if you don't know who Spencer Henry is, he is a friend of Mikey from Glam and Gore, and he does a podcast on murders and like serial killers. <laughs> it's, re it's really good. Um, he just has a way of telling a story that like you just can't say no to, like you just want to keep listening to. Okay, next step, I'm going to lightly contour because if I am not going to take an Instagram picture of it, I don't really contour that heavily. So anyway, so I like to take this, I just bought it, so I recently like to take this Morphe. I think it's a, a highlight contour palette. It's called Lo-Fi in LA. And I like to take these two bottom colors and I like to mix them. And I just like to go, I like to do one line where I just kind of like map it out. And then I just go in small circles. I have a really cute nose, so not to like toot my own horn, but like toot toot cute nose train. So I don't contour my nose because it already is like it looks contoured, but I just like to take a little and I just like to put it on the ball of my nose because it just makes it, I don't know, I maybe I just, it's in my head, but that's what I do. I make my nose dirty. Okay, next question is, have I ever stolen anything or have I ever prank called anybody? I have stolen. When I was about 15, my friend convinced me to steal lip gloss from a Target. I did, and then when we weren't hanging out, I took it back. <laughs> because, I, I don't know, it just felt wrong. And I didn't like take it back and told them I stole. I like took it back and just put it back on the shelf. So, you know, it was used and that's gross, but I tried. Okay, so for doing my eyes on a normal day, I like to use my contour palette because I'm not looking for crazy colors. I'm just looking to just like define them a little bit. So I'll take a lighter color like this one and cut it off. I really want to go above where my crease is in order to give myself kind of like a, a fake crease. Hooded eyes are so, I see all these girls out there with non-hooded eyes doing like miles of makeup and with hooded eyes, you just don't, you don't have the real estate for it, man. And when you do cut creases, you have to like go super high 
It's a, it's a struggle. At least I have a cute nose, right? Okay, and then last, I'm doing this all with the same brush because all my brushes are dirty right now. And then I just go back over and, and like lighten it up a bit. I take this light color and I just lighten that line up, blend it a little bit out. So now it just looks, you know, brown and a little darker. So I'm gonna take this smaller brush and take this darker color because I really didn't like the way that brush it wasn't giving enough depth. Okay, after that, if I'm feeling crazy, I will add a little bit of brush. This is Bobbi Brown in Nude Peach 28. I'll go in and just put it on the apples of my cheek and blend it into my contour. Okay, another question that I was asked is if I had all the money in the world, what would I buy? Now, me and my husband, we talk about this all the time. Like, I'm sure you guys talk to your friends and family about this, but I don't think I would buy a crazy amount of stuff. I, like, am really happy with where I am at in life, and I think that the most I would buy, and I know this sounds so silly, is a personal driver because I hate driving, or I would just Uber everywhere. The next step in my makeup routine is normally just a little bit of mascara, a lip, and that's it. But because, you know, we're, we're YouTubers, we're going to put on lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on a little bit of liner and some eyelashes off camera because otherwise I would severely embarrass myself and I don't want to do that. So I'll be right back. So lashes are on, I look awake, I look wide-eyed. Uh, so for my lashes and liner, I used this Stila eyeliner in black. I used Milk Waterproof Mascara, and I used really cheap Kiss eyelashes because if it's a normal day, girl, I am not using $30 lashes. One of the last questions I got was, am I prepared to die for my family? That was heavy. And creepy creepy and heavy so yes i guess i'm prepared to do anything for my family i love them very much and now let's do another thing i love a lot uh i really love highlighting and that is my next step before i put on my lipstick and i use ofra ofra and Nik nikki tutorials collab um, I really love this one. It's super pretty. This one is glazed donut. I used to have cloud nine, which is my favorite because it's got like reflex of blue and purple in it, but my husband broke it and he still hasn't replaced it. So from now on, I use glazed donut, which is still really pretty, but just like not purple in all my other colors. So, uh, you know, I put a little on my nose. Uh, I have a, I really like my Cupid's bow, so I put a generous amount there. A little bit right here, yes. A little bit right here. Oh, and then, you know, because we're extra, just a little bit on our brow line. Yes. Okay, so now that we're all highlighted, time to pick a lipstick. Okay, so normally on my regular days, I just wear chapstick. <laughs> So I'm kind of boring, but if I'm going out on a date, I like to pick like a nude lip. This is Jeffree Star Liquid Lip from the Liquid Lip Mini, open for nudes. And this is in um, color Gemini. Boop, all done, all lipsticked up. My last step is to set. And I like to use Morphe's set setting spray. So if you see me walking around California, I mean, this is what I this is what I look like. Well, that's it, guys. This is the end of my get ready with me, get to know me. I hope you guys learned a lot about me, and I really look forward to meeting you guys both in my comments and on my other social medias. And if there's anything you guys like to do or see from me, or if you're interested in anything about my life, you know, just let me know because this is a super exciting process for me, and I'm. I'm excited to continue this journey and you guys have an awesome day, okay? Bye.